DC has a 10 year plan. Let's talk about it. What's going on guys? My name is Trevor. Welcome to my channel. Yesterday, James Gunn announced the 10 year plan for the DCU, which is called Gods and Monsters. So today we're ranking all 10 of those projects, which are some shows and some movies from my least excited to my most excited. Let me know down below in the comments section, what are you most excited for for the new chapter of the DCU? There are 10 of these projects that are only inside the DCU. That is what we are focused on. Love to know what you are most excited for down below in the comments section. Hit that like button, subscribe button, notification bell so you don't want to set any future content. Let's get into this. At number 10 is going to be Paradise Lost. It's not that I'm not excited for the show, it's just that I don't have too much information about the show. Like a lot of these projects, I just don't know too much about them yet to get me over the moon excited. But coming into this project, this is taking place before Wonder Woman is born. It's taking place on the homeland of Wonder Woman. I believe it's called Temascura. And it's said to have a Game of Thrones type vibe. Amazon Warriors, the world where Wonder Woman eventually grew up on and a Game of Thrones vibe, it gets me pretty excited. I just want a little bit more information about this. At number nine is going to be Supergirl Woman of Tomorrow. Again, I just don't have too much information with this project, but this is Superman's cousin. And I believe that Superman in the DCEU might even be in this movie. And it's rumored to be very hardcore and have Krypton the Superdog in there. So that's pretty cool right there. I wonder if Dwayne Johnson's gonna voice Krypton the Superdog in this movie. At number eight is going to be Creature Commandos. The theme of this video is that I just don't have too much information going on into this world. And Creature Commandos was the first project that Saffron and Gunn greenlit so that's pretty awesome to hear it is an animated series I'm not sure which characters are going to be in this but the characters that are in this voicing this will also be playing their roles in the live action that's what's really cool about the DCU animated projects directly tie into the live action projects and the people who are voice casting for them will also play them in a live action I thought that was pretty cool I'm a little bit more excited for this than the other projects just because this is the first thing they greenlit I feel like they have a little bit of confidence behind it. At number seven is Booster Gold. This is said to be more of a comedic beat type show and it's following the character of Mike Carter, a man from the future who uses technology to come back in time and convince people he's a hero. And like I said, it's looking like it's going to have a comedic beat. So going to this, I like a good lighthearted show. I have not heard of the character Booster Gold. So again, if you know anything about this guy, let me know down below. But just from the comedic beat that's supposedly going to be happy in the show, that gets me a little bit excited because I always like a good show with has a little bit of fun, doesn't take itself too seriously. And the character of Mike Carter sounds like he could be interesting. I'm just a genius convincing people he's a superhero. That sounds pretty fun. At number six, Waller. This is a series I believe will be going to HBO Max. And the one thing that holds me back is I'm not a big fan of the character of Waller, but this is said to be a like sequel series to Peacemaker. That right there gets me pretty amped up for the show because I love Peacemaker. And if you watch Peacemaker, I'm sure you loved it as well. So to get to see more adventures where Waller's kind of cracking the whip and she has all these people under her, I think that could be very interesting. I believe Viola Davis probably will be praising her role as Waller. Or maybe she won't. At number five, Swamp Thing. And you might be thinking to yourself, this is way higher than I thought I was going to be. And it is for me as well. But I saw something today that got me pretty excited. It said that James Mangold might be directing this movie. I am a diehard fan of James Mangold. In my opinion, he's one of the best working directors today. So for him to want to come and direct this, that right there just puts me fully on board with this. It also gets me really excited for the DCU because if you're getting a big, heavy hitting director like James Mangold is, I think that just shows how confident they are on this project and it shows how much talent they're going to get for the entirety of the DCU. James Mangold doing another comic movie. He did Logan. He did the Wolverine. So coming into this, what can he do? I'm here for it. At number four, The Authority. Now I have no idea who's going to be in this movie. I have no idea what this movie's even going to be about, but the said premise is that it will revolve a team of heroes who think the world is broken and they want to fix it by any means necessary. Who will be in this movie? What characters are going to be in it? It sounds like a team-up movie and I am a sucker for a good team-up movie. Are they going to be characters we know? Are they going to be characters completely new and introduced? They sound like they're going to change the world by any means necessary. That's giving me some vibes of like the boys a little bit that they might be doing some crazy stuff in order to I guess for the greater good. I'm excited to see it. The Authority, probably a lot higher on my list than yours, but again, something about that premise just gets me a little giddy inside. At number three is Lanterns. I wanted to love Green Lantern with Ryan Reynolds so many years ago, but this one looks like it's gonna be a little bit more serious and sounds like it's already it's going to be a lot better than Ryan Reynolds' Green Lantern from so many years ago. They're saying it will have True Detective vibes as the duo Hal Jordan and Jon Stewart investigate a mystery 
that will be essential to the DCU. A detective story with a character of Green Lantern who is absolutely badass and just was not done well with the Ryan Reynolds movie. So two Green Lanterns, these are two of like the fan favorite Green Lanterns are going to be in the show as a true detective vibe, a mystery involved, and it's gonna be very essential to the DCU. I think Lanterns has the potential to be one of the best projects of all of these listed. At number two, The Brave and the Bold. I am a sucker for Batman, and I've been wanting to see a Batman and Robin story told on the big screen, and it looks like we're finally getting that. The one thing that holds me back, and obviously this is at number two, so I'm very excited for it, but they're using a complete different Batman than Robert Pattinson's Batman, because that's like the Elseworld Batman, but the DCU Batman is gonna be a different one. Who is that going to be? Are they bringing Ben Affleck back? Is Ben Affleck going to direct this? Because Ben Affleck has showed interest in directing, so I can see him wanting to direct this movie right here. But is the Batfleck coming back? Who's going to be our Bruce Wayne? I think it's going to be a little bit confusing for audiences, but nonetheless, this movie is going to be following Bruce Wayne and his son, Damian Wayne, who's going to be Robin, who's like his son. He didn't even know was alive for the first 10 years. So they're saying it's going to be a different type of father and son story. It's probably going to be very relatable, but Batman and Robin on the big screen together, that right there gets me so damn excited. But at number one is going to be Superman Legacy. I'm really bummed that Henry Cavill will not be returning as Superman, but nonetheless, I think this is a turn in the right direction. I think getting a Superman to be in the DCU and hopefully the forefront, what they can't do with us again, what they did with Henry Cavill and Man of Steel, because Man of Steel 2 was just gonna be a dynamite of a movie. So coming to this one, we get Superman again. Superman is loved by all, and he's one of my favorite superheroes. This one right here isn't even going to be an origin story. They're saying it's going to be him trying to balance life on Krypton and also balance his life on Earth because he was raised by humans. So very interesting premise there. I'm very excited to see who they're going to cast as Superman. I'm guessing it's going to be someone late 20s, maybe early 30s because it's a 10 year project. I'm assuming we're going to see Superman a couple of times through all this, especially in the Supergirl movie. And this is the only project of all these that actually has a release date. It is set to come out. July 11th, 2025. It's only two years away. It's gonna be here before we know it. That right there gets me the most excited. If I could only watch one project as of right now, it would be Superman Legacy. Let me know which projects you are most excited for down below in the comments section. Are you excited for this new phase of DC, the DCU, Gods and Monsters? What do you think of it all? Let's talk about it down below. Hit the like button, subscribe button, notification bell so you don't miss out on any future content. Thank you guys so much for watching. Woo, DC, I'm excited for it. I'm excited for it.